Today we're doing a tier list of every structure from when dungeons arise. This mod adds over 30 new beautiful structures to your Minecraft world. Some of them have incredible loot but good difficulty, but some of them are a little disappointing. So today we're gonna judge them based on their difficulty and their loot. The first one we're gonna look is the Abandoned Temple. From what I've experienced, the Abandoned Temple is quite more frequent. The top chests will always have a map, and the chests have good food and iron supplies, and sometimes even diamond. It's a good starter place to even make a base or conquer, and it's kinda easy to conquer because there's no spawner so you can take all the time you have to conquer this place and make it yours and the map will lead to another bigger structure with more loot so it's like a starter quest once you're really geared up in late game this place is still useful because of the map even though the loot inside is pretty much useless so this one will go in a the aviary is a really end game structure it's hard it's in the end but there's a lot of diamonds it's mostly nct loot but with netherite scrap and some netherite gear there's a lot of god apples and golden apples but the mobs hit like a truck so be really prepared this place might feel unfair the archer have power six bow with arrows of arming tree so they almost one shot you in full netherite so if you have an elytra you could go there and do a quick open up chest and just go out to at least equip yourself but since it's really end game and the stuff are really hard you're probably better off going to end city so this one is a b the bandit tower is one of the most disappointing one in a bunch for once it's way way too big and secondly there's a lot of mobs a lot of spawners and the loot is really bad even though if you pin her up to the top the loot on the top is not that great the only thing in good quantity is iron and food so i'd say it's not not enough for the danger that it pose and the glute is not that great after like early to mid game so d even though it is really pretty i'm not judging by the prettiness the bandit village is almost like the bandit tower for the loot but in smaller quantity the mobs are fairly easy to kill there's some hobbling spawner but that's pretty much it and the loot is decent gold iron it's not really good for a base you can't really base in there and i haven't seen a map but also it's pretty pretty rare so this one goes in c the serenian hind is so rare the locate crash so uh, so I had to spawn it using the play command and there's no chest, but there's a lot of bone It's a whole structure made out of bone pretty useless, but you get some bones. So D. the Coliseum There's no chest inside. There is some weird skeleton with pro 10 and some annoying flying enemy Even though it's pretty it's good to make an arena for PvP or mob battle Everything else is trash. So since I'm not judging it by its prettiness It's sadly an F tier. The fishing hut has one spawner with some zombies in it. They are not strong There's not a lot of loot, but a good starting food if you find this house really really early on it can help you explore more But otherwise it's pretty useless and it's not even big to say you can make a base in it It may have some enchanted books or potions see here okay the foundry this one has a lot of netherite and diamond especially on the second level the first level is not really worth it just go through it grab the chest and run but the problem is it's underground you need a map to find it or you're lucky like me and you find it like this but also it has some blaze spawner and blaze spawner in the overworld mean an easy farm not the best to make a base in it but has really great loot and the difficulty is not too hard just hard so Hey. The giant mushroom is mostly visual. It's a good source of mushroom. There's one chest with mediocre starter loot, and that's what I found when I checked it. So, Zeph. The Heavenly Challenger can make a good sky bait, but it's guarded with annoying flying spawner. It's everywhere and they spawn phantom with archer on him, so it's really hard to tower up, fight them, and grab the loot. So it's better to grab it with an elytra, but if you have an elytra, the loot inside is decent. There's some diamonds, iron, golden apple, you can find netherite gear, and the mobs inside are not too hard to deal with. So it's a solid B, you can base in it, it's big enough so you can make a base, but you need an elytra or a portal on top of it. The Heavenly Conqueror is a smaller version of the Heavenly Heavenly Challenger, but it still has diamond and netherite stuff in it. And with good enchants. It is less protected, it has weaker mobs, but it's flammable, so don't put out your flint and steel. Overall, I like it more than the Challenger, so this one goes in 8 here. And you, it is still big enough to make a base inside of it. The Heavenly Rider is a smaller version of the Conqueror. It's weirdly similar loot than the Conqueror, but stronger mobs for some reason, with a little less diamond and netherite, so it is objectively worse than the Conqueror. The Illager Campsite has really, really bad resources. A lot of anvil laying around, so you can get a lot of anvil but it's not really good for base there's weak enchantment in the chest and a lot a lot of pillager and vindicators and that's pretty much it so see the 
Lovely. The Illager Corsair has really few resources, it has a lot of gunpowder, a lot of redstone, some quartz, so you can make some redstone stuff with it. There's a few iron gear, coal, and there's a lot of archer on top of it. It's too small for a base, but you can easily go from under and loot the good chest from under the boat. So it's okay, you can grab it really early on, so it's pretty much a The Illager Fort? First of all, there's way too many Illagers in there. It's like a mansion on steroids. There's way too many evokers, but at least they give you Totem of Undying, so you can also find some diamond gear, but it's like pretty much the same loot as a mansion, there's a good amount of food, and it can make a great base once you cleared everything. And for some reason, the Vindicators are immune to knockback, so just be careful. So otherwise, I'd say this is a C. The Illager Galley is really, really early game. You can also mine it from under to easily gain access to the loot, but the loot is really bad, so the... But they're quite frequent. The Illager Windmill has a lot of food. The basement is trapped, but it can easily be disarmed. The loot is okay, there's a lot of emeralds and a lot of food, but that's pretty much it. There's no gear, there's not a lot of iron or diamonds, and sometimes the zombie outside just spawn inside the ground instead of on the top, so it's D. The Infested Temple is really long to explore. There's a lot of floors, it's a huge building. The enemies are not too hard to fight for like mid-game, and it has around mid-game loot, so it's pretty balanced on that. It has already built-in enchantment table. You can also also get a lot of enchanted chain armor moving up through the floors. Every floor are pretty much the same except the last one. You can easily tower up from the outside just to get to the good loot and grab the lot of diamond that are hidden in these chests. There's a good amount of diamond and more stuff in these chests. And there's also a lot of space so if you have an elytra or you like to use a portal, the top of this building is really good for a base. You have a great view, easily access to the roof and it's already well lit. Though this one goes to A. The jungle tree house has good early game loot. It could make a fun starter base but it's hard to access because you have to climb up every time. The mobs are easy to kill, but it's in a jungle so it could be really rare to find. But that's pretty much it. It's a C. The Keep Kyra is kind of rare, and it's huge. I think it's even bigger than the Infested Temple, but it has good loot, a good amount of diamond, enchanted diamond gear. It's good for a base, because once you clear out everything, there's a lot of space to put your chest and to make, uh, if you have mods like Create, it's big enough to hold up some contraptions, some redstone farm. You could even use a spawner to make a farm. There's Wither Skeleton spawner inside, so you could make a Wither Skeleton head farm. And the mobs are not too hard to kill, so once you go to one or two floors, you're equipped enough to fight the rest of the Keep Kyra. So even though it's really huge, I'd put this one in S. The lighthouse has like no loot, no monster, it's an okay starter base, and it has some redstone component that you can steal on top if you want more repeaters or comparators. Other than that, it has pretty much nothing, so... D. The merchant campsite is like a village with better loot. It's still starter loot, but it contains sometimes a map that can lead you to a better structure, but overall it's like a village. It has villagers, so you can at least start a villager training hall or some breeding. C. The mining system is huge, but you most likely will never find it without a map. There's a lot of iron, and when I say a lot of iron, there's stack upon stacks of iron, double chest of iron if you loot everything. There's some gold, some diamond and diamond gears, a lot of powered rail if you like some powered rail, and the enemies there are pretty easy to fight. It's really good if you don't have an iron farm, otherwise the loot is pretty okay. So it's a B. The monastery is like an already sickered village. It has books, it has a map for another place, it has bleh, loot with some food, and it's an easy villager trading hall since the villagers are already on the top and can't go out. So it's perfect as a starter base. This one goes in S. The mushroom house has good food, but it's kinda hard for the quality of the loot. The mobs are hard to kill, they have a lot of HP and a lot of armor, and then there's not a lot of place to make a base out of it, but there's some iron gear so you can easily come in and get out with some loot, but it's not the best. The mushroom mine has a lot of coal and okay mid-game gear, so before you get everything in diamond, there's some good loot in here, but there's a lot of mobs and some of them are really strong. They have enchanted diamond armor, and it's pretty awkward to traverse and try to get every chest and barrels lodged in the wall or whatever. So the mushroom mine will go with the mushroom house. The Mushroom Village has some starter resources, but has a Piglin Brute spawner, but you can easily grab stuff in the small house outside of the big house, so if you're weak you can grab stuff and prepare yourself to face the inside. But it's a weird layout to make a base out of it, and it has pretty much nothing, so another one in C. The Plague Asylum is another one that spawns underground. It can contain some Eyes of Enders, there's a lot of iron, coal, basic stuff, redstone, and a lot of chests. Like a lot of chests, you can fill up your inventory multiple times in there. It cannot really be found without a map, again, because it's 
it's really deep, deep underground. There's a lot of mobs and a lot of potions. There are a few brewer with chests full of potions and uncraftable potion like splash potion of weather five. And some regen, some health and other stuff. There's also component to craft the potions and etc. It's a really big complex with no like loot progression. What I mean by that is if you go down one layer, it's gonna be the same loot as the first layer. So you don't really have to go deeper in the asylum to get more good loot. You can just loot every chest you find and you'll get good stuff. So it's pretty good, but really, really hard to find B. The Chiras Palace is a really big, big palace with hard mobs and mid to end game loot. The mobs are tanky and full diamond, and there's also some invisible spider just to mess you up. There's some hidden chests with netherite gear and netherite ingot. You can really easily get full diamond enchanted. You can find the enchantment table. There's some hidden chests with more netherites, so it's really good for loot, but there's a lot of mobs and everything is hidden, so if you don't know the layout, you can easily get lost and never find them. Now this one is a B. The small blimp is, in my opinion, pretty bad. Let me explain. There's only redstone stuff and some bad loot inside. The mobs are hard to kill if you you go there unequipped, but if you go there equipped, the stuff is not good enough. There's only redstone traps, and it's not even wired correctly. The trap doesn't even work. The enemies are way too tanky, and it's way too small to do anything with it. F. Thornborn Tower is kind of huge, but also good for a base. It has a lot of lapis. It's good for bees. There's a lot of beehive in there. There's some annoying enemies, but they are not too hard to deal with. Some witches, some archers, and a lot of skeletons. It can make a good late game base, exactly like the infested tower. You can base at the top and with some elytra you can really move around. Contains some diamonds and some emerald, but there's also some annoying phantom at the top. So once you deal everything, it can make a great base. This one goes on the top of A. The Typhoon has only one or two chests with meh stuff like an iron sword or chain boots with pretty much useless stuff. It doesn't even have bones, it's made of stone. F. It's not even like the Syrian Hide, which is made out of bones, so you can at least collect the whole structure for your farm. Then we have the Undead Pirate Ship, which is pretty much like the Corsair from the Illagers. It's gunpowders, TNT, redstone, some diamond gear, some diamonds, some iron, but you can easily just break from under and get the good loot. So I'll place it next to it on C. And last but not least, I don't have it here so I'll add it with the editing, it's the Wishing Well, which makes a block of bedrock randomly in the world. You can get stuck in it if you don't have blocks. It gives you regen, there's no loot, it's really weird. That's pretty much it. F. I forgot to talk about Scorched Mine, there's a few diamonds, chests can have some enchanted iron or armor gears, but there's few resources per chest, but a good thing is it can be spotted at the surface because there's a little well you can go in to find a place. You can easily find some ancient debris, golden apple, but you better bring a fire resistant potion because there's a lot of fire-based stuff in there. It can easily be flooded in an aquifer, so this one goes to B. So there's my list of every structure from the When Dungeons Arise mod. Hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe. This content is a bit different than my other one, so don't forget to leave a like to make the algorithm go way. And as always, you're awesome, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.